This message is coming from Northwestern Ontario, Canada. It's a message from Fiji Land Owners Association, speaking up for the rights of Fiji's airport terminal service workers who've been locked out. Fiji Land Organization Association is comprised of a few hundred individuals who's had their human rights similarly dismissed by Kayum. It stands on behalf of 5,000 individual vacant land owners. Fiji's airport terminal services comprises approximately 300 workers alongside their families that equates to thousands of Fijian individuals who are standing up for recognition of their basic human rights. The rights to, like Fiji Land Owners Association, their property rights. These are individuals that own 49% shareholders in ATS services. <clears throat> for over 11 years, they've been bullied into submission under Kayum Brothers' authoritative bully leaderships. They've had their complaints similarly dismissed and stonewalled, much the same as Fiji Land Owners Association has for the past three years. Currently, Fiji Land Owners Association owners of vacant land have two-year prison terms hanging over their head because of arbitrary decisions passed by Kayum, Asid Syed Kayum. He nepotistically appointed his brother, Syed Kayum, previously a taxi cab driver, to head up ATS services. They have been existing under sexual conditions of sexual harassment. They have been existing where their views, where they have had their wages frozen for the past 11 years, all the while taking $110,000 bonuses out for themselves and then not putting anything back into the workers. This goes on the coattails of an October trade uni unions trying to get recognized <coughs> and standing up for a minimum $4 an hour wage. That equates to about $2 an hour in US dollars. Kayum, they had to ask for permit to protest and Kayum limited it to 5,000 members. We stand together because it's a matter of human rights. <laughs> right now, ATS workers, um, not only are they under the harsh conditions of standing up for their rights being locked out, but they're doing so in, in conditions where nobody is speaking up for what they've been through, where most of the voices being heard are the Kayum brothers, Rayez Kayum and his brother, the acting PM, Sayed Kayum. It's their voices that are being heard over Fiji Broadcasting Corporation. It's their voices that are being put in Fiji Sun and to a large part Fiji Times. Because of Kayum's media decree, to do otherwise would be to incite communal antagonism because you would be speaking about the actual conditions, but they would be unfavorable and they'd be creating, uh, in their views, in their eyes, conditions of unrest. So they have these archaic draconian conditions and which they implement. Um, and so that was also why the Fiji Land Owners Association, the victims under that legislation, their voices never got in, heard on TV or in the print. So we ask you to, to support the ATS workers, to bring them food, not to be scabs, to, um, to stand by them as they're standing up for a democratic type of uh, governance institution um, as, as being shareholders of that company. We ask uh, Prime Minister Verne Brahma, if he's outside the country, he spent a great deal of time at the UN. While he's at the UN, perhaps he could sign, ratify Fiji's treaty with the UN on human rights. It's long overdue. And we ask whoever's watching this video to boycott Fiji, travel to Fiji. This is out of love and respect for the Fijian people and for the vacant landowners of the country that have been some, had their rights summarily dismissed, this will put pressure on that regime. It'll put pressure on them and say human rights matter, that our vacation plans aren't more important than the human rights that exist in that country. So it's a, po it's a step in the positive. It's a short-term pain for a long-term gain for Fiji. 
We ask this uh, with love and aloha in our hearts. Vinakavakalevu, Mele Kalikamaka, Singanasudu, Mahalo Nui Loa. <laughs>